Hey everybody, Joseph Rothschild here, aka MBT. Today's Twitter thread is about formats. So as we play Tier 0 Tier Limit Out, a format that personally I think is actually kind of fun, I'm asking what your least favorite Yu-Gi-Oh format of all time was. Yu-Gi-Oh is well known for having a ton of bad ones, one of which is the one that I have linked below. In mid to late 2018, every single combo deck was trying to make exactly this monster, Topologic Umbalar Dragon, and rip somewhere between two and six cards out of your hand on their first turn. This wasn't a Goki only thing, even decks like Element Sabers were like, eh, it. Let's just make Gumbles. Callie says, I'm going to make Halk, summon a Tuner, make Link Cross, summon two tokens, and Link Summon for Martial Metal Marcher. Oh, for most of 2020, this was every single deck strategy to throwing up a million negates. You would just see it every single game. Uh, if you go back to my old 10 minute testings, you'll see about 15 voice clips in a row where I go, have you seen this combo before? Next, they're going to activate the effect of Link Cross to get two tokens to their side of the field and stop me if you've seen this combo before. They're going to go into a copy of Link Cross to summon two tokens to their side of the field and stop me if you've seen this combo before. I wanted to commit villainous acts, says the Don Juan. <laughs> Imagine being a dinosaur one trick when people are double VFDing you and mating Lancia. CJ Alex says, really just all of Link era truth be told. Let's just take a quick look back at some of the all-star worst formats of all time. Join me on memory lane as we look through years of Konami's mistake. Summon Sork was legal for over a year. Goki Suprex! Fuck this guy! Super Agent, can you believe he was broken two times? This... <laughs> It wasn't even linking. Pepe, even though it didn't last long, Pendulums and Pen5 every turn in general made me stop playing Yu-Gi-Oh! until Salad came out. Yeah, this was like a weekend warrior deck. It actually made it to exactly one YCS, but what was that YCS pretty much composed of a singular deck? I do not miss this at all. What frustrates me about Pendulum that many people were unwilling to talk about because they're part of Big Pendulum or something is the fact that even though Pepe is universally hated by the player base, the play style of almost every Pendulum deck since has just been Pepe light. Like functionally the exact same deck, but less good. That sucks. I hate it. The last few months before this was banned, we got a list that hit every top deck except for Dragon Link. This top deck took 15 minutes to assemble a board of negates that was a total snooze fest to play against back to back. Yeah, uh, Dragon Link was like the best deck for something like seven months total, but it felt like two and a half years. Ultima probably with the best answer, Teledad. It legitimately priced out so many players, including my younger self. Important to recognize that not only was Teledad prohibitively expensive, it was also fucking annoying to play. Uh, shouts out to the fact that, like, D-Draw and Mally were in this deck, it was clumpy as hell, people were on Fearmonger. This deck was simultaneously so good that it choked the lifeblood out of the format, and so bricky that you could easily just draw unplayable. Swag Kage, one million percent correct. I cannot stress how much of a daily dick punch this was. I was so excited for Master Rule 5, the meta was diverse, and then this set happened. Rock would bust or lock you with Harold Savage, and Lich was Lich. You had to play these decks, you had to win the die roll, or you lost. Two deck format, both decks super frustrating in fundamentally different ways that made you mad for different reasons every single game. Xander says, I gotta say Dragon Rulers, while being reminisced as a skill intensive and labbed out format, tests which player is better. It's disappointing when the most someone could do is make an airplane. It is kind of strange. The Dragon Rulers enable you to do absolutely everything, but everything wasn't there yet. So we would just do what we could, which was Drake Assassin over and over again, mostly. There's plenty of talk about how bad Cecil was, says Lady Alexis, but I'd like to put forward that ROTD coming and throwing Infernoble into the fray made it a million times worse. Correct! It was so frustrating being like, yup, there's now a third deck that can hang with the big boys. What does it do? Uh, it puts up a million negates, Buster locks you, and it hand loops you as well. Pass199 says, Nationals 2022 format. Look at this. Huge wheel with tons of different decks represented. Good format, right? WRONG! Every deck that wasn't Sword Soul or Branded was a Floodgate deck. Punk Adventure. Mainline combo is either Scythe or HDRAK. Fluanderese. Barrier Statue of the Stormwind. Salad? What was Salad doing this format? Baguska! Dyer says, I hated the first COVID format. Legit almost made me quit. Generator is the only thing that got me through it. I remember doing really well in a Team APS tournament with Generator because it just made VFD. People love to cope about Skillful, but it's not Skillful to Valk pop itself when you can't get to Lava All Chain Senjin. Insanely expensive, boring to watch, boring to play, literally suffocated every other deck. 
I disagree. I like the Kraus Mirror. Ironically, this is the format I started playing, but oh my god, was this format unfun if you were not on Drytron. It was open Dark Ruler or Droll and Lockbird or straight up lose. Shouts out to when they, like, even found the out to Droplet by using Union Carrier to equip a B from deck. Jesus Christ, Pendulum FTK was such a miserable time to be playing Yu-Gi-Oh. It's crazy, like, looking back from the release of Firewall Dragon until, like, early 2019, it's just format after format of the least playable, least fun Yu-Gi-Oh you could possibly be doing. Wind up. This is the format that almost killed Yu-Gi-Oh for Cardfight Vanguard, yes. Uh, could not stand being hand-looped for my entire hand, or... Shockmastered, if I wanted to compete. I <laughs> loop all my savings. It was miserable. Bringing up a Duel Links example, Shiranui format was the worst. Which Shiranui format? 100% Glad Beast. I had a full set of Heraklinos. I was the only person in Not Cal that had a full set, and I refused to lend them to anyone out of absolute spy. <laughs> oh, Glads were good for years, but God, the first Gizzy set was just so frustrating. Time does not heal all wounds. I will never recover from the damage spiraled into my soul in its short reign. I remember we were all thinking, will we get to see Sleeper's face? We got real close. Perhaps there's been worse, but in January 2020, everyone was excited to figure out an uncharted format in the wake of Toss, only to be faced with a format dominated by a deck that everyone was already sick of. This was, I think, the third time that Spiral was meta. God almighty. How did you all not see this coming? Oh, yes! This is the worst Duel Links format of all time, and I will not take criticism. Extremely short-lived, but yes, Woodland Sprite FTK was running around. It was just this and all the Golden Bamboo Sword cards. Notably, I wrote an article for YGO Pro deck about the Duel Links meta during this period, and I said that this deck was tier zero, despite the fact that it wasn't super common on ladder, just because all the people who had it and were willing to do it just like got to cog in a night. Um, and people chewed me out. They were like, you're wrong. I haven't seen it on my climb. You got to understand early Duel Links article writing was like the Wild West because we were all just using anecdotal evidence. It's hard to overstate just how important Duel Links meta was for the Duel Links space. Dino Rabbit, bar none. It's crazy to see that like a historic format in which there were a lot of decks playable is almost universally hated just because of how unfucking fun <laughs> Dino Rabbit specifically is. <laughs> 2018, man. FTK, 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 FTK. <laughs> How did we all keep playing this dog shit game? So that's that. I think we've realized that the community is pretty cut and dry when it comes to what formats they actually hate, with about three or four clear standouts. But what's striking to me is that most of the worst formats happened recently. 2016, 17, 18, 19, and 20 were host to a ton of the fan base's least favorite formats. I can only hope that this one ages as well as Toss seems to have, and not as well as all the Firewell formats did. See you next time. What up, it's your boy, Jumpin' Joseph. I'm back again, and I'm jumping.